सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठी पति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदवन मनोहर वाशा कल्पतरुवश कृपा सिंधु व्यवच पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखं कौति बाचाल पंगुंगलंघयतगिरी यत्की पातम वंदे परमाधव बृंदावई तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नुरुजनुरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यासम तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा परीभवग्नमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचन तम शरण्यम भीता पुनोपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणिंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमि छटाय विस्फुरजीत किमी गवधुशुदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा काम करीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाथारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पादुपंकज सुरासुरवंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी भावाूपेन सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तो बाम भाग नारायणो प्रियमनंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ बागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी यस्तेदय संवी सिंहमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे न 
नाम संकीर्तन जस्वपापनासनम प्रणाम दुख शमनम तंग नमा हरि परम नाम संकीर्तन यश सर्वपापनासनम प्रणाम दुख शमनम तंग नमा हरि परम गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंस जगदगुरु सेठ दे है दोज वर गोइंग टू ज्वाइन गौरी मत with duplicious mood to take undue advantage of those i mean aprakita divya gyan available in gauriya mart they have no connection with gauriya mart believe that they have they have no connection with gauriya mart gauriya goshi bhati sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami dar bhopal paramahansa jagat guru said that those who are going to join gauriya mart with a duplicious mood to take undue advantage to misuse the divine knowledge available in gauriya math with them gauriya math has no connection so called diksha fragile diksha actually or actual diksha not same it seems that is all the same but actually not so अप्राकृत दिव्य ज्ञान इफ आई कैन नॉट एटेन इफ आई कैन नॉट गेट फ्रॉम गुरुपात पद्म देन माई दीक्षा इज नॉट कम्प्लीट फॉल्स दीक्षा सो फॉल्स दीक्षा एंड एक्चुअल दीक्षा देर इज ए हैव ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू पीपल आर इन कन्फ्यूजन दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वाट इज अ डिफरेंट दे थिंक आई हैव टेकन दीक्षा फ्रॉम गुरुदेव दैट्स ऑल नॉट दैट After taking diksha, we will have to do guru seva, and in course of guru seva, we can get kripa of sarup shakti. I told you yesterday through guru vishnu. Then I can get established in hari bhajan. I mean seva, not before that. Not before that. Dibbo gyan is totally, is completely separate thing. Dibbo gyan mean dib dhatu. That's mean you will have to grow your samandha gyan. The bhagyan mean at present we have relationship with the material world. At present we have relations with with our children, wife, husband, father, mother. All we cannot ignore. It is impossible to ignore because we are staying in the material world, the surrounding world. There is so many things are there. attractive so this kind of relationship we must maintain this way we cannot approach up to bhagavan but i am not going to say propat not saying one need not leave family life we are not going to advise you that you can throw all family life and go away not that only you will have to realize the bhagyan you will have to realize your relationship sambandh again with guru vishnu bhagwan and then if you stay in this material world there is no problem actually boat you have seen boat in the river boat boat is staying in water boat where can stay boat cannot stay in land if somebody some fool is going to put boat in 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 a land it's impractical so boat a boat must stay a boat must stay in water but water should not stay inside boat follow boat can be there in water that's not a big problem but if water is there inside boat then it can capsize big problem so dibbo gyan mean relationship you will have to build up your relationship with भगवान गुरु वैश्व अप्राकृत जगत एट प्रेजेंट वी हैव रिलेशनशिप विथ मेटेरियल जगत सो यू विल हैव टू समहाउ बाय साधु संग हरि कथा ग्रेजुअली यू विल हैव टू ग्रेजुअली यू विल हैव टू रियलाइज संबंध ज्ञान आई मीन हाउ टू डेवलप संबंध ज्ञान लाइक यू हैव योर नेचुरल रिलेशनशिप विथ योर चिल्ड्रेन 
naturally you are not going to study book how to develop loveful relationship with son daughter no nobody it's an automatic factor it is arranged by maya devi is automatic one man when taking birth after growing after that uh, become aged marry after their getting automatically their growth relationship is not a strange but it is really strange that why we cannot realize that this is most un unstable this kind of relationship you are growing okay i am not speaking you can throw everything and become sanyas and go out actually this kind of relationship can put you into the ocean of misery ultimately big problem so if you realize this world is unstable totally unstable any time my i can my body unstable unstable all relationship with what all unstable any time you will have to leave this material world so those who are really intelligent they always thinking calculating well anyway willingly or unwillingly i will have to leave this material world it's a must it's a must then why not i leave this an uh, attachment before while i have to leave it 100% there is no alternative i will have to do whatever is in this all 14 world whoever is even from brahma to ant you know ant from starting from brahma up to ant all rolling down circulating circulating rolling down from brahma bhagwan speaking in gita arjun actually abrahma bhuvana loka punaravartinah arjunah from brahma up to ant or mosquito they all need to leave their body and take new body new body in another body this way for infinity beyond so bhagwan sikhism speaking who is really intelligent he must uh, try to find out the absolute solution there is not solution i am getting money i can uh, try to make a nice building i am in rented house a big problem always fighting so i solution a solution we are searching solution in this material world we are searching solution in material world but there is no solution in material world it seems it is solution but there is no solution this way for infinity period we are rolling down that's why shankaracharya jo rah shankaracharya jo writing shankaracharya actually vaishnav but by the order of bhagwan he was bound to write mayavad bhashya mayavad bhas so shankaracharya jo writing punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi matri jathare sayanam again and again we are taking birth from the womb of one mother previous life i took birth from another mother this way infinity pure god there is not solution so we will have to develop our relationship with a prakriti jagat though it is very easy to speak but not so very hard one example i can speak after that sambandha vidya prayojana i can discuss after that i can enter into the main text one day actually one punjabi lady old lady she wanted to put one put one question in front of bhakti vigyan bharti maharaj my shiksha guru je maharaj one day she is asking this question in front of sila bhakti vigyan bharti maharaj maharaj i took birth in jalandhar punjab one place where my many hari katha was there previous i am coming to temple radha madhav temple from the beginning i mean from childhood i am coming paying uh, dandavat pranam watching aruti everything now by chance i uh, uh, my my marriage was arranged here in jalandhar i mean marriage after marriage i am staying here because husband is there from jalandhar 
So anywhere there is no interruption. I am coming daily morning time, Aruti Darshan, everything going. But up to now, now my age is almost uh, 80. I cannot feel anything. I am giving so much energy coming here, so much thing. But why I cannot realize anything? Any, um, I cannot realize what is my achievement. Then Bharati Maharaj is asking, well, you are doing everything. Well, you are doing everything, okay. But you never wanted to, you never wanted to think that what is your relationship with Bhagavan, Radha Madhav, in the temple. You never wanted to think. You never wanted to think. But you grow your relationship with your grandson, granddaughter, son, you know. Eh? Everything, husband, wife, everything. But you never, never wanted to build up relationship with you. You know, you have your, what is, what relation? What relationship you have with Bhagavan? What relationship you have with Bhagavan? You think? I never, I never, you know, thought that way. And that's why. You never thought that way. If you cannot make one relationship with Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnava, then you cannot make any improvement in your bhajan. You cannot make any improvement. You have to make a relationship with Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnava, Dham, Nam. Many times I discussed one slok very analytical way, maybe Purushottam Brato. Khyantir abhyartha kalattam viraktir mana sunnata asavandha samat kantha nama gane sadaruchi asakti stat gunakshane priti stat basati stale itvadayu unubhavaha sur yate bhavan kure jane. You cannot understand, unknowingly, you cannot realize in the beginning, gradually, under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnava, you go on hearing Harikatha, uh, doing satsanga. In the name of satsanga, don't do asasanga. At any cost, asasanga is not allowed. First day I told you, you can remember. Satsanga means you have taken resolution that you are to avoid asasanga. And it is a vast chapter. It is a very vast chapter. Asasanga means you cannot realize what you are doing is asasanga. No, it is not asasanga, but it is asasanga. You cannot realize how asasanga can come in your life. You cannot calculate. You can go on thinking. How is possible this is asasanga? Asasanga. The only demarcation I can speak to you, if by the association of somebody or something, if you develop some inspiration to do bhajan, that means satsanga. One year stick, one standard I can speak. I cannot speak in all in detail. Not possible. Someday I can discuss. These are year sticks. You will have to think, oh, I am going to meet with this Maharaj and uh, hearing Hari. I am feeling inspiration to hear. Uh, I am feeling inspiration to do more and more seva. Then it is asasanga. You are feeling more and more inspiration by this, then surely it is satsang. That is many. That is why many times Prabhupada used to say that don't go for a satsang. Don't go for a satsang. You are always speaking, don't go for a satsang, this, that. Where we can get satsang? Then you say, don't go there, don't go there. Where we can go? Then Prabhupada giving answer, okay, at least you can avoid, at least you can try to avoid minimum this thing. But nama, nama parad is not there, that you can be careful. At least you, you can try to concentrate in this matter, that at least you are not going to do any nama parad. Now you have no idea about what is nama parad. That is the main problem. Those who are hearing for the past 20 years, they uh, cannot understand what Mara is speaking. So deep philosophy. Nama Bhas, you have no idea. So if I don't clarify, you can go back. So much money you are spending coming here, what use? If you are not getting details, some. Nama Bhas means 
not actual naam. Namavas means not actual naam. It is like naam. It is almost like naam, but not naam. It is almost like naam, and due to absence of samandha gyan, you have no idea. You say uh, Hare Krishna is speaking unknowingly. You have you have no relationship with Bhagavan at present. You have not taken even you have not taken shelter of the Lotus Feet of Guru Pātpāda. But you sometime you are speaking Hare Krishna to somebody. Maybe in joking mood or somehow you are speaking, but that nam can help you to get free of Maya. Namabhas can help you to attain mukti. Namabhas is so powerful, not genuine now. Even Namabhas can help you to get free of Maya. Hello, Namabhas. Shankirtam parihasyam stobam helana mevaba vaikuntha nama grahanam asesha aga haranam vidu. It is written in Bhagavatam that if you somehow you are speaking Harinam, you have not grown any relationship as yet, but somehow. Sanketyam, uh, like I can speak one example. Especially it is very applicable in Vrindavan. Suppose uh, I am in Radhakun. Somebody asking, Maharaj, where are you are going? I say, I am going to Govardhan. Giriraj Maharaj. Then, I am speaking Govardhan. Or if I am not Maharaj, if any ordinary man, those who are not doing bhajan, they are staying in Vrindavan. Hey, where are you are going? I am going to Radhakun. So anyway, to indicate the place, he is not going to do bhajan. Simply, he is going to indicate the place where I am going. But knowingly or unknowingly, he is speaking about Radharani. I am going to Radhakun. Follow. Unknowingly, unknowingly, he is speaking Radharani. So anyway, he is speaking Radharani. This way, Sanketam is Sanket. Pariyasam in Jokin mood. Hello, no me, Baba. To complete one, your word, some word, to, you are using this. Eh? Sabo? You are going to complete. Somebody is speaking, Nam Sankirtan. Ah, you speak clearly. Krishna Nam Sankirtan. He is going to, suppose he is going to, it is not clear. But you speak Krishna Nam Sankirtan. To fulfill this word, he is speaking Krishna. He is not going to speak the name of Krishna from heart. He is going to fulfill. This can happen in the life of one poet. He is writing, right? He is bound to write Krishna to fulfill one. This way, anyhow, if you are knowingly, unknowingly speaking Krishna that Krishna can help you to, Krishna means Harina, can help you to go out of Maya. Mukti. So, mukti you can get. That is called namabhas. And namaparad mean, namaparad mean, you have taken diksha from some sadguru. Suppose you have taken some diksha from sadguru. Well, by now, Gurudev wanted to explain that, my son, this is the case. We need to build up relationship with Bhagavan, this, that, you are up to. But you, out of your fanciful attitude, growing aparad, you say, Gurudev speaking, Harinam is so powerful, my son. By Harinam, you can get anything, anything, what not possible. What is possible? That, useless. What is possible? What not, what not possible? Everything possible. Really so? Then I can use this Harinam from tomorrow. I can do all rubbish and I can speak Harinam. Because if I speak Harinam, I can cut all up Papa, Apara. I can, because you, by now you know, by doing Harinam, I can cut any sinful activities. So why not? I can do all sinful activities daily and I can speak Harinam. So this way I can utilize this Harinam 
for my own purpose, then you are going to commit offence unto lotus feet of. Mane, you are going to purposely utilize this Harinam, which is very powerful. I think you cannot believe. You cannot believe at present. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to speak us. We are so foolish. Maybe noon time I can discuss this point. Nam Nam Okari Bahuda Nijo Sarvasakti Stattar Pita Niyamito Smaranen Kalaha Etat Dishitava Kipa Bhagavan Mamapi Duddhaiva Middisha Mihajani Nanuragaha. Mahaprabhu speaking. Second slogan of Sikhas I can speak. Nilachale. That I can discuss. Nam is so powerful, Mahaprabhu speaking. Nam, 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 Akari, Bahuda. Bhagavan, you have arranged for us your different kind of name. Achyuta, Govinda, Krishna, Madan Mohan. Uh, you are going to arrange so many, so many your name in this material world. And your name is available in this world by the mercy of Shastra and Guru Vishnu. And there you are going to put all your energy, full energy you are giving in Harinam. Harinam is more than Hari. We are, as per Siddhanta, we are speaking. Harinam is just equal to Hari. We are speaking, Harinam is just equal to Hari. That we speak. But if you uh, think analytically, then you can come to the Siddhanta, Harinam is more powerful than Hari. Harinam is more than Hari, more glorified. I can give one or two examples that you can realize. Ramchandra wanted to make one bridge to go to Lanka from, uh, from you know, Rameshwaram. Uh, he had to go to Lanka. If there is no bridge, big problem. So Ramchandra wanted to make bridge, but the main leading part, who is playing the leading part, Hanumanji Maharaj Ki Jai Ho. Hanumanji Maharaj playing the leading part, very mighty. He is going to take one, one big, big rock, and you know, and after that, writing Sri Ram in a stone with the chalk, is writing Sri Ram. After that, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, throwing the stone in water. And the stone is floating. Now, stone is floating. Where are Ramchandra is standing? Ramchandra is standing there. But in the name of Ram, Hanumanji Maharaj is going to take the stone and throwing in the water. Water is floating. Still, in internet you can find that in Teta Yuga there is a line, you can say. From Lanka to India, one stone bridge down. Now it gone underwater. Very, maybe 20,000 leagues under the sea. But from internet you can find there is one bridge. Because Ramchandra, before leaving that place, Shamundar, I mean ocean god, praying, Prabhu, you are going away after getting victory. Why you are going to bind me? Why not you make you free? Okay, then going to take the arrow and bow and throw. And going to break them. Okay. Because it is one kind of binding now. So you make me free. So by the name of by the name, by the name of Ram Nam, stone is floating. Whereas Ram is standing here. So it's very powerful. Many examples from Puran, Bambhavai Bhakta Puran, so many Puran I can give. So many. You can uh, you can become mad by here with no time. Actually, Nanda Maharaj took decision that my son is very nice actually. And after calling Brahm, Brahman everything, doing mantra for protection, they are giving, uh, they were calling Brahman and giving protection to Krishna Bhagavan with Krishna mantra. They are doing. They are doing mantra, Nishinga Devaya Namaha, Narayana Namaha, Krishnaya Namaha. They don't know he himself is Krishna. They are giving protection, a mantra protection. Follow. One day, Nanda Maharaj took decision, well, I can do one thing. I can do one thing. 
I can put uh, my small baby in a way, way you know, weighing that you know, uh, in a two, two pot. One I can put my baby. Another pot I can go on putting all golden ornament, all you know, uh, nice nice jewel everything. And after that I can wait. After that, if, if the balancing is there, then I can get all the ornaments, everything. After then, this is what I want. He took decision. Then all public, all around public watching, and the small boy playing this way, small baby, Krishna, Krishna playing, and going to put in a, a one wedging in a pot, and Nanda Maharaj bring all gold and ornament, all precious jewel, everything, going to put. But Krishna is Krishna, so heavy, so heavy. Nanda Maharaj like to see. See the balancing condition, but balancing. So much thing, oh, with, uh, with carton, carton mean with, you uh, know, sack, all put it. A baby is uh, heavy, heavier than, you see, how possible, small baby. Maximum it can be 15 kg or 20 kg. I am giving so much, but still not balanced. What to do? A big problem. Then after that, one Rishi going to suggest, why you are going to take trouble unnecessarily? Eh? But what to do? I am putting all ornaments, not the still I cannot see any balancing condition. Oh, you can get one tulsi, tulsi leaf, tulsi leaf. Get one tulsi leaf. And there you write, Sri Radhe, you write and put in the pot. Ah, useless. Ah, so much you know, ornament and putting. One tulsi leaf is a, I say you put one. Then he's going to write, Sri Radhe, and put in the Another pen, then balance. Heavier, then rather become heavy. Krishna become light. <laughs> so you see, this is the condition. So you don't disbelieve. Specially, Bhakti Thakur wanted to advise us. Specially, I can show you Bhakti Thakur giving advice. If you go on speaking Arikata, go on speaking Arikata Kirtan. But if you have no acharan, if your acharan, I mean efficacy, pure efficacy, in front of you or not in front of you, a pure Guru Vaishnav, their maintenance is the same. Not that backside they can do some rubbish thing and in front of you, uh, I am a big sadhu, you see. Not that. Not that. That's why their speech is so heavy, like fire. Why? Because they, their speech is, they are backing, they are getting, backing the acharan. Follow? This is the main thing. So, after, even after hearing countless harikatha, you can get mangal or cannot get mangal. If you have some offense, cannot. Papa speaking, you are hearing from right source, very powerful, still you cannot get. Now, I can clarify this point. Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Thakur. I can speak the place also where you can go and search. Upadesha Amrita commentary. Maybe six or seven number bars. You can find. Bhakti Mirtha speaking uh, in other article also. Bhakti Mirtha writing. If you go on speaking Harikatha doing Kirtan, many times I told, but people become angry with me. They like to leave me. I say you leave me. I'm no problem. Many times I told, when you are going in Nam Shankirtan, outside road, don't send all material people. They are foolish. When they go outside Nam Shankirtan, all material people, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, but they are all material. They themselves don't know. They themselves have no idea, idea what is Hari Nam, what is the value, they don't understand. Uh, if they go on doing Sankirtan in the road or in station, I watch many times. In station, some group doing Kirtan, Mataji is there dancing. I'm thinking, they are foolish. But they are doing anyway, they cannot obey me. They are taught by their society. They, why? Who, who am I? They cannot. But if I speak the absolute, still they cannot accept. That is the main tragedy. At present, all over the world, 
At present, all over the world, if somebody is asking what is the greatest problem, the greatest problem is that, that people are less interested to accept that absolute truth. They can accept false Siddhanta Vichara because they are sweet, more practical. They cannot accept. But Bhagavad Gita writing, if you go on doing Kirtan this way, cannot. When you are making one procession of Harinam, I'm not speaking, you cannot do. Don't think that way. You are against. I'm not against. I'm in favor of nothing. I have myself have done under the guidance of Bhakti Bala Tittagusi Maharaj, doing Nam Sankita, I'm going backside. I am not against. I am not against at all. It seems that I am cruel. I am not cruel. Actual, I am not cruel, but you think so. What I can do? So, I am not against Nam Sankirtan. But what I mean to say, in Shastra it is written, in Nam Sankirtan procession you are doing, at least one or two pure sadhu must be there. Try to get my point. At least, minimum, one or two pure sadhu must be there. Who can lead you? Who? Who can lead you? All procession, all bonded soul, they are not. But two or one, like Bhakti Vala Tritya Goswami, the leading part. Hare doing. And all other sadhu going backside. Then you can get result. I mean, those who are outside people, roadside, those who are hearing Hari now, they can get result. Because you are doing under the guidance of one elevated devotee, exalted devotee. But some bonded soul, they are going to take some leading part. At the same time, those who are falling, all bonded soul. So what result you can get? Try to get my point. What result you can get? But they don't understand. Even I am speaking Harikatha, so false ego, they are hearing secretly. But after that, reject. They are hearing, memorizing. After that, speaking, like passing lecture. But from heart, they are not accepting me. So I am not sorry for that. Anyway, I have no uh, desire to get love, puja, patishta, mani, puja, janat. That's why I am fearless. I am fearless. Why? Because I have no expectation from you. If you can leave me, I can go away to Vrindavan and sit. Radical. All same for me. Follow. That's why if you have any desire, then you can become, you can develop fear inside. So, Bhakti Muttaka writing, if you go on doing Nam Sankirtan this way, then you cannot get any result. You cannot change, you cannot change the heart of any bonded soul. Because you yourself is bonded. One man having no idea about how to swim nicely. Ah, if you're going to save you, you are drowning. Ah, you save you. But both of them can go down. Because a drowning man Catch it at a straw. So you uh, yourself have no idea about how to swim properly. You are going to save that, save that lady. A lady can grab you. And both of them, you cannot swim. And both of them. This is the condition at present. Andha yathandhi rupaniya manam teyo pisichatanta murudam nivadhya. This is the condition. Why? So much pressing going on, so much thing. But still, outcome is zero. I know you can become angry by hearing me. Why we are not getting results? So much preaching going on, or so many Maharaj going there, preaching. Why? Why the net outcome is zero? That is my question. If you want to put challenge, I can accept your challenge. You come. I am not challenging anybody. My accepting challenge is not one challenge. I can give you answer properly. Then you bring with one of your disciples. Not two, only who is now at present realized. After preaching so much, maybe in your life, maybe one devotee in your life realized, you cannot so. Because you yourself is not realized. You are not realized so. That's why so much bad result due to preaching so or dirty result coming out. So Bhakti Vinayatog was preaching until and unless you are established in Harinam. Until and unless you yourself realize this, the value of Harinam, glorification of Harinam. Until and unless you are going to, you are going to preach about the glorification of Harinam. You go on speaking, 
about the glorification of Harinam to them. At least in your Harikatha, at almost every day, you can touch this point. Harinam is so powerful. Then by hearing the Harinam, they can try to live their enjoying mood. But, but at present they are absorbingly. At present they are absorbingly in enjoying mood. If you go on hearing, it can bounce. You yourself not establish. You can go on swearing, the Harikatha can go and bounce from there, come back. But the day you yourself is established in Harinam, go on speaking, you know, my son, the glories of Harinam, really so. Then they can, you can change their mood. Like I speak, only by writing Siradhe is more than sufficient. Srimati Radharani more heavier than Krishna because he's Guru. He cannot believe. Radharani is not a woman. Radharani is not a woman. You go, ah, well, one woman. Not woman. Who is Krishna? Says Radharani. It is written in Shastra. In Skanda Puran, it is written, Sha Evo Sha. Sha Evo Sha. Sha means Krishna. Sha means feminine gender. What is he? He is she. What is she? She is he, all same. Only manifesting two different, uh, you know, figure for for enjoying lila, for our benefit, for our benefit. Krishna doing rasa lila. Guru Padmasi used to say, "Don't think it is a ball dance. Don't think it is a ball dance in a bar." Krishna purposely doing this lila by the desire of those devotees, those gopikas, no attraction, nothing. No, not even smell of attraction. Krishna is the topmost brahmachari. No attraction. It is written. Shab pratibhimba vibravaha. About Rasa Lila, Sukhdev Bhusami writing, as if, as if, one small boy, as if one small boy in front of mirror, in front of mirror playing. As if one small boy in front of mirror he is watching his own face. Playing. Ah, this is a playing. This example given. Shukdev was giving this example. As if one small boy, even innocent, is playing in front of mirror. Ah, this is a playing. Similarly, Krishna playing with himself. Krishna not playing with any woman. Okay? But still for absolute enjoyment, which is not material enjoyment. To show us, Krishna Mante was bound to do this Leela. That's why Sukhdev Goswami wanted to put repeated warning in front of Parikhit Maharaj. He is the Supreme Lord. Parikhit Maharaj, don't forget that He is Supreme Lord. Infinity world, like dust particle, foo. Infinity world, you are a teeny creature. And this earth, this earth itself is a teeny creature. Earth. If you go to Mars and, you know, and Venus, you can see, even you cannot see, where is art? So tiny existence. And this art, we find so vast. Because always try to remember, tomorrow I can discuss what Einstein told, theory of relativity. We are in this relative world. That I can discuss tomorrow. Actually, we are in relative world. We are in relative world. Until then, unless you realize this point, we are in relative world. You have to realize it. So, I can speak one story tomorrow by spoken by Prabhupada. So, one ant, one ant there looking at you. Oh, it's so big, Papri One ant looking at you. So big, Papri Papri. But if you yourself stand in front of Himalaya, oh my God, I am teeny, nothing. 
Himalaya. Oh. That is called comparative statement. Relative world. In relative world, you will have to realize the absolute truth. Otherwise, you will have to roll down in the relative world for infinity period. No solution you can find. Follow what he say. So, yesterday what I told, yesterday, what I told yesterday, that by Gyan, by the procedure of Gyan, you are following the procedure of Gyan. You are following the procedure of Karma Kanda. You can go on following Gyan Kanda, Karma Kanda, but you can never get any solution. You can never get any solution. Only you can invite problem after problem after problem. You can go on inviting problem. Nothing else. Big problem. So, yesterday I was speaking. <coughs> you can remember, yesterday I was speaking, Jnanataha sulabha muktir, bhuktir yugyadi punyataha, Seyam sadhana sahasraid hari bhakti sudhur lavaha. That's why Chaitanya Mahapu himself in the noon time I can discuss like crazy playing. One drop of bhakti you give me, one drop of, one drop of bhakti devotion. One drop of bhakti please give me. Because that is called solution. If you are really intelligent, you can try to find the absolute solution in this life. After getting satsanga, coming from long distance, spending lakhs of rupees, unnecessary. If you are not sincere, you are going to waste your money. If you are sincere, take something, property and go and distribute. Follow. Don't speak lie. For pratishta. Only because uh, they cannot give me pratishta, why should I? No. They cannot give you pratishta. They can leave you. But still, you go on speaking, absolutely true. Someday they can realize. At least you can ensure your benefit. You are speaking all false philosophy. You are going to destroy yourself. In Shastra it is written now. In Shastra it is written. Those who are only speaking scriptural advice. Only speaking. Not going to apply those scriptural advice in their own life. Those who are only passing lecture. Those who are only passing lecture about their scriptural advice there. But they are not going to apply in their own life what I am speaking to you. What I am speaking to you, if I myself not following that track, then Harikatha is useless. It is not Harikatha. This Harikatha can destroy the whole world. A written. Who is only speaking, not following in his own life, that Harikatha can become the reason of destruction of the whole world. Written in Shastra. Follow. I can discuss this point tomorrow anyway. That we are not passing lecture. Anyway, we are not going to pass any lecture. People asking, why you are discussing 11th canto, the topmost part? In whole Bhagavatam, the topmost part, very hard, is 11. Why you are unnecessary? Taking? Why not you speak all easy Leela of Krishna? Very easy. You can speak and they can dance and go away. I am not so foolish. I am not so foolish to throw you in the ocean of Maya. Purposely, I took decision long ago. I mean, for the past two consecutive Purushottam Vratva, Kartik Vratva, continuously I am speaking. Whereas people usually like to avoid this chapter, this very hard. Why? Because it is the advice of Prabhupada. It is the advice of Prabhupada. If you, if you are successful, to realize this 11th chapter, 11th canto, 
then you can conquer the heart of Krishna. Follow. If you are successful, if you are successful in your life to realize eleventh canto, then be sure you are getting green signal to go to Krishna. Dhag, 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 train can go. So important. I know Tattva Gyan is very hard. Oh, we'll have to play your brain. Oh, what speaking, how to tally. You cannot understand. Very hard. But still, you have to hear it from the lotus mouth of a pure devotee. It's a must. Then someday you can cut Maya. Someday no, immediately you can cut Maya. It depends upon your position. So, continuously we are discussing about the last advice of Bhagavan Sri Krishna to Uddhav. Bengali Harikata I cannot speak because I start from beginning. 11th canto. So, this is not at... Advice can come after, but basically I am starting from beginning. So now it is maybe third or sixth chapter, I don't know. I will have to check up. So, ha, sixth, I am discussing. So, as a whole, I, have, I cannot speak, it is uh, the advice of Udva, Krishna. But this is advice. This is the special advice uh, of Krishna to Uddhavji Maharaj, special, I mean, last advice, I mean, before Krishna, <coughs> before, before Krishna leaving this material world, before Krishna leaving this material world, Uddhavji crying, blasted into tears like mad. He cannot leave the lotus feet of Krishna. Don't leave me, don't be. I think you can, no, you don't leave me, I can die. Without you, Fraction of second, I cannot live on this. Please save me, take me with you. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, it is my order. If you love me, if you love me, then it is your duty to execute my order. I like to keep you here. I like to, I like to keep you here in this material world as my representative because I find nobody suitable. Because I find nobody suitable. You are the fittest person. So I like to put you in the material world as my representative. You can act as guru and go on speaking whatever advice I give. You cannot go. You will have to stay here. Finally, Uddhavji Maharaj putting one by one, one by one, one by so many questions in front of some Krishna, Bhagavan. Like same case, as a representative of all, all human beings, Arjun wanted to put question in front of Krishna. Right? If you think, oh Maharaj, Arjun is uh, one bonded soul like me. Not that. Bhaktivinoda Tagu writing one inner meaning, a total Gita, inner meaning, Gita survey. I can say this. Survey of Gita. Bhakti Mahatma writing one article. Survey, total survey of Angela. There Bhakti Mahatma writing, you don't know. Uh, Samiksha, survey on Gita, one article, Bengali. There Bhakti Mahatma writing, if we think that Arjun is a bonded soul like us, then it is, is a blunder mistake. It's not so. Arjun is surely not a bonded soul. Arjun is Yuktatma, eternal person of Bhagavan. But then why would he, why become nervous? Yes. Yes. Arjun, by the desire of Krishna, by the desire of Krishna, Arjun is now already put in the platform of one nervous people. Oh, I don't understand what to do. What? Because if Arjun is not there as our representative, not going to put questions, several questions, how Gita can at all come? Somebody, somebody, somebody has to put question, na? Somebody has to put question, then I can give answer. That is why. So Arjun surely is not a bonded soul. Arjun is Yuktatma, he is going to put question one by one, 
as a representative of all, you know, of our representative of all who, human being. <coughs> so, Bhagavan Sri Krishna ha, now can get the scope to uh, keep answer one by one, gradually. But what is the final outcome of Gita? What is the final outcome of Gita? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, whatever I told, you try to forget. Whatever I told, I told. But now, is the final conclusion. As a final conclusion, we remember, what is sarva dharmanam, sarva dharmana paritajya maam ekam saranam bhajo, aham tvam sarva papibhyo mokshay swami masucha. Now, final conclusion is that, you leave everything, whatever advice, all. Leave it, yes. Leave it. Final conclusion is leave everything, whatever in the name of dharma, adharma, all intricacy, all complicacy, you can leave it. Only you are advised to take shelter unto my lotus feet. Sarva dharman, because dharma has a different sarup in our society, somebody following social dharma. In our society, somebody following family dharma, somebody in the name of Veda dharma, Veda, I can discuss this point tomorrow. Veda dharma, Veda. But Veda dharma means they don't understand. They think in Veda, so many advice there, so Veda dharma is this. But Veda ultimately going to indicate Krishna. After going through, after going through whole Veda, volumes of Veda, Rik, Sam, Joju, Atharva, all. If finally, if you have failure to discover Krishna, then your reading Veda is failure. At all, if we are reading Veda, we are reading Veda with a mood to search out Krishna. Krishna is there. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself speaking, Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself speaking, that after reading whole Vedas, you can find me. Ultimately, you can find me, I am standing. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, Vedasya Sarvai Rahame Bhavidya. After going through Veda, you can discover only, I am standing. Only. The only conclusion of Veda, the only conclusion of Veda is, I myself. And if you find some other conclusion, preliminary, oh, that is to, uh, that is to guide you, slowly. Because at present, if I speak so heavy thing, cannot accept, that's why, is one kind of, because gradually you can find. Vedasya sarvai rahameva vedya. That is the final conclusion. So, Arjun is not a bonded soul. So, your starting point, in your life, in your life, if you discover the starting point, your bhajan, in your life, in your life, if you like to discover the starting point of your life, I mean the bhajan starting. That is the most preliminary thing is sarva dharman paritajya mamekam saranam bhajan. Sarva dharman paritajya mamekam saranam bhajan. You leave everything and take shelter. And believe me, you need not follow anything. You only you follow. You can get success. So, the final conclusion of Gita is to submit unto a lotus feet of Krishna to take absolute shelter. Bhagavan advising, giving advice that you have to take absolute shelter unto a lotus feet of Krishna. I mean, unto the Lotus feet of the Prabhupada, absolute. Because you cannot see Krishna. And to a lotus feet of the Prabhupada, you will have to take shelter. If you can take shelter, all problems solved. Because Krishna is such merciful, Krishna is not like other demigods. Krishna is not like other demigods. You are going to pray. Uh, Ganesh, Ganesh, you know, heart Ganesh. I don't know. Ganesh, you give me uh, money, position. Okay, okay. 
After that, big problem happened. You have to say, Ganesh, some problem happened. Uh, you give me some property and money, Paji. What I can do? You ask, that I give. Shankar Bhagavan. All the demons, they are asking. All demons, they are worshipping Durga. You know? Dhanam Dehi, Janam Dehi, Jasho Dehi, Disho Joy. You give me money, position, money, money, manpower, money, power. They are so beggar. They are so beggar, what I say? Because their sarup is beggar. Externally, you can buy so much money, so many position, but still they are beggar. But they need more and more and more. No self satisfaction. Because this way you can never reach satisfaction. The more you can get, the more you are going to put fuel in the fire of your desire. Go on, way. No solution. That's why those who are worshipping Devi Durga, Kali, Ganapati Maharaj, you know, Suryo, Ganesh, you know, Shankar, they are going to ask, give me, give me, give me, give, only give me, give me. They are beggar. Beggar asking, give me. Give. But Vaishnav said, you take you, take you, take you away, everything. Even my coffin, you can take you away. Vaishnav, it is the prayer of Vaishnavas to Krishna, Bhagavan. You take everything, all your, all your, you take it. Vaishnavas are giving everything. This kind of dedication is not there inside the heart. You cannot expect inside the heart of the material people. Those who are absorbingly in, enjoying mood. How we can expect? That's why where Gita is going to finish, the final advice of Gita, the final advice of Gita is Sarva Dharmanam Parityaja Mahamekam Sarnam. But that is the starting point of Gauriya Bhajan. Follow. Where Gita ultimately is end point. Gita giving so much advice and coming to the final conclusion, I mean the last advice, that is the end of Gita. And from there, our Gauriya Bhajan can start, only starting, get. Where Gita going to end, where Gita advice going to end, that is the entrance of Gauriya Bhajan. Entrance. So what is the entrance of Gauriya Bhajan? What is the intent? Submission. 100% submission. That is the same thing, na? Krishna speaking. Sarva dharma pritya mamekam sarma. Saranagati. The entrance. For Gauriya Bhajan, you will have to develop this idea. Minimum. Then you can get entry into Gauriya Bhajan. And before getting entry into Gauriya Bhajan, you can be so much problem. But after getting entry into Gauriya Bhajan field, so much treasure. Infinity treasure. I was speaking in Bengali Gatha, even Mayavadi from Varanasi, BHU University, Akhandananda University, their professor, there was a principal, college principal, speaking some, uh, some so called devotee going to learn uh, Gauriyo Vedanto. Mane Vedanto. Of Baladev Vidyabhushana, Gauriya Vedanta, Baladev. But professor speaking, we have no arrangement. We have no arrangement to teach uh, Gauriya Vedanta. We have a, a Mayavad Vasya, Shankar Vedanta, or if you at all less interested about Shankar, then Ramanuja Vedanta, Ramanuja Vedanta. We are very sorry to speak you. The principal speaking to the student. I am very happy that you have come to take admission in this subject matter. But we sorry. Nobody came to nobody coming to nobody coming to, to, to get lesson. We are, we are Mayavadi. They are Mayavadi. Mayavadi principle speaking. We wonder. We wonder there is immense treasure, endless treasure. That principle of that you know, university speaking, that there is endless treasure in Gauriya Mat, Gauriya Bhajan. Gauriya Mat, Gauriya Bhajan. Gauriya Mat, more practical. 
endless treasure kept by Rupa Goswami, by Swanathan Goswami, by Jiva Goswami, by the endless treasure. But still, nobody interested to accept. Only they like money. I have not seen any Acharya who is giving inspiration to his disciple from heart that you try to learn this thing. Try to uh, do perfect, try to, try to find out perfection of your Acharya. Because they themselves doing wrong. That's why I like to misguide you. If you are going to learn Ved, Vedanta, everything, then you can discover the naked picture of that Acharya. That's why better you can uh, keep. We cannot keep any library. We cannot keep any library in the because some uh, Brahmachari can go and read and put question in front of me. What answer I can do? Because I am collecting money only. That's why we cannot keep any library. It's more practical. Only cooking, cooking and eating. Only cook. Chana rasa, these are more practical, nice prasadam. It's more practical. And go to hospital. Chana rasa, make it ever go to hospital. Yes, I am not joking. One Maharaj is Mayabadi from, from one ex mission. I am not going to speak name. Ex mission in Vrindavan. Big hospital. And near, near that hospital, our uh, Sri Chaitanya Gaurimar there. Madhav Goswami Maharaj Sahib, there are many harikatha I told, and that was the problem for why they wanted to uh, leave me. Because I spoke harikatha, na? that's why. I, went, I never wanted to cheat them, that's why they wanted to leave me. Sai that was the place where many harikatha, all missing. 25 years, there no recorder, nothing. And somebody, uh, material recorder, one uh, record, tape recorder, of course. All missing, my God. Many harikatha, all important. Regarding Varnasam Dharma, I went on singing seven days, ten days, oh, secretly. That was the temple. And most of the devotees from there going to hospital to get medicine, this, uh, what to do, they are eating chana rasa, this, that, and uh, they can do it. One day, the principal of that in the hospital, his name is Shakti Maharaj. Shakti Maharaj now making a joke with one mot in church, that time Puri Maharaj, our, Urisa, our Puri Maharaj. That Puri Maharaj is not Urisa Puri Maharaj. He is a disciple of Madhu Goswami Maharaj. He was very friend. <laughs> now one day, Shakti Maharaj joking over telephone. Maharaj, we are open, our gate is open. You can, you can take as much chana rasa as much you can. You go on eating. And send, our gate is open. We are ready with medicine and bed. We are ready to serve you. You take, ga 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 ga, ka, and go. Hospital. We are open. Our hospital is open. How much medicine, everything. So what a kind of insulting command. They cannot realize. I like to die after hearing this. But they are not feeling any reaction. <laughs> what a kind of insulting command. You go on taking this and come to me. We are, we are open, ready with hospital, everything, medicine, everything. What a kind of insulting command. They cannot realize. They think it is very good. So, be careful before starting Hari Bhajan. So, where Gita going to end, from there, the starting point of Gauriya Bhajan can starting point of Gauriya. Don't make any mistake. Don't make any mistake. There is a starting point of Gauriya Bhajan. You should not forget this point. Same thing what I told yesterday, uh, some other sloka is told, but here. So, Jnanataha Sulabha Muktir. By Ganmarg, you can get Mukti. Ganmarg, you are concentrating in Brahma. I am formless Brahma. This material world is a dream, nothing, no reality there. Mayavadi is thinking. Mahaprabhu speaking, why? This table, chair, everything, no reality. The matter is there. Well, they are speaking all dream. As if one man watching everything in dream, that's it. Dream? Mahaprabhu said, no. Material world is there, but unstable. This is the right system. Material world, I can find this table, everything I can find. Matter I can find. So how I can think it is a dream? Eh? 
Same thing, our, our uh, Santu Goswami Maharaj told you, na? one assembly going on, Santu Maharaj sitting and invite so many uh, important guests, uh, one uh, man, Mayavadi Vedanta, is a verse, principal, is coming here. So, everybody allowed to speak Harikatha for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Then after that, everybody is speaking, and that Mayavadi, that Mayavadi professor was there. You can also speak something. He started, he started speaking about Mayavad. All formless Bhagavan is, you know, impractical. There is no reality. They are going to discuss this way. Every Sarvam Khaludam, Sarvam Khaluidam Brahma. All Brahma, nothing else. All Brahma all around. Nothing else, only Brahma Sattva, Jagad Mitha, material world, all false. Only Brahma is only. After his speech is over, Santamara started speaking. Santamara started speaking after the speaking. After that, in course of speaking, taking the stick and going to beat. Hey, you are going to beat me? No, why? You say you are Brahma? You say you are Brahma. I am Brahma. The stick is also Brahma. Then what problem is? Why you are feeling sad? Why are you feeling afraid of that? You, you say just now, 10 minutes before, you are Brahma. So I am also Brahma. The stick is also Brahma. Everything Brahma. Why you feel? That means you are speaking lie. Dual conception is there inside your heart. You purposely going to speak lie. Establish wrong Siddhan. Santamaj. And a whole assembly started laughing. How easily Santu Maharaj not fighting. Only one action in front of public is open. Ah, so intelligent our Guru Varga. You cannot imagine. Our Guru Varga was so super intelligent. How to solve problem? How to solve problem? One fraction of a second they can find out. Because Vaishnavas, their brain, super brain. Aprakito brain. Not material brain. Any problem, anything they can find solution. So this way, those who are in Ganmark, those who are running in Ganmark, they are singing this. This whole world is dream. I can attain Brahma. Bhajo Govindam, Bhajo Govindam, Govindam Bhajo Muramati. Sankaraja is speaking. Oh, foolish mind. Try to worship Krishna. But Sankaraja himself write Mayavadi Vedanta. But he himself writing secretly so many things I have. You can prove he is a devotee. Externally by the order of Krishna is writing Mayavadi. So, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam. Govindam is a foolish mind. Try to worship Krishna. Worship Krishna is more practical. Because at the last moment of your life, Sanskrit grammar cannot save me. Like Mahaprabhu told, na, he studied, from today onward, I cannot teach any Sanskrit background. I am not in a position to teach you a Sanskrit grammar anymore. This is my position. Please excuse me. Then Bhagavan is going to bind the book. Now today, you can speak Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. That is more practical. Hello. Nama Sankirtanam Yasu Sarva Papa Panasanam Pranama Duksha Shamanam Tangnama Miharim Param Vanchakalpudur Sikipa Sindhu Bhavacha Patitanam Pavanibhu Vishnabhu Namo.